channel. I'm a self-love specialist from TanyaTKO.com. I hope you learn how to love yourselves and one another. On this channel, we typically use viral, viral video topics to analyze to see what the self-love lesson is there for you in your life. Today, we're doing something a little bit differently because I'm following the guidance of source. And this is where we've been led to today. The title of today's video is the top three mistakes that men make with women. And I'm a little nervous about doing this video because I stopped talking to men on my channel about 10 years ago because I, I, I got the sense that men didn't really want to listen. So I just started talking to women. And so I'm coming out and speaking to men because of the direction that things have been going in. And I had a sort of revelation behind the scenes. Um, those of you that know, you know that I am a, a trained life coach, professionally trained life coach. And, um, and so I'm going to, hey, everybody, so people are starting to come in. So let's go, oops, let's go ahead and get the text out to the text notification squad. Um, I know that men have short attention spans, so I'm going to give the top three and then I'm going to break it down. I have my board behind me. And don't worry, we will get back to the viral topics because there's a lot going on with the passport boys or the, the PP boys or the bros that we need to discuss because there's some things happening behind the scenes that are kind of in line with today's topic. And part of what is causing so much trouble and drama for men. Um, so I'm going to give that to you. Let me um let me get the link so that I can get this out to the text notification squad. Oh, we got South Africa in the house. Yes. You know, I have to go there and be with my people. You can see from my cheeks that, yes, I have South African in my DNA. You can see from the cheeks as well as when you look towards the backside. Yes, yes. Oh, yes, yes. Yes, no. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Um. So, yeah, so let me get, let me, let me go ahead and get the link. I think that's why... So many South Africans are on my channel because they look at me and they see their kin. They see that I am Sistrin. They know. They know. So I have a, a large amount of Nigerian, Ghanaian, and South African DNA. So it's all a mix in there. All right. So I got the link. So let's go ahead and get that. <laughs> yeah, I had to bring the board back out because we need to talk about this with men we have got to i i want to break it down in such a way that i'm hoping that people can understand so just give me just a moment um i know there are a lot of women on my channel most of the because i i mainly speak to women so i want you all to share the video with a man who's been asking you some questions lately about and you know what welcome to the the new people on the text notification squad we have over 810 people on now so um, I want you to share the video maybe in a group where they have questions because I'm going to open up the phone lines after I give the three. And then from there, I am going to, um, then from there, hold on, I'm sorry, I got to get the, all right. And then from there, I'm going to open up the phone lines. Ugh, I'm trying to get this thing out. Let me just copy and then here, paste. Oh, a lot of the, the, the attachment. No, 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 no. Paste there. And then remove this backspace and then send. Perfect. So the text has gone out. It's also gone out to the people on Telegram who are getting the free notifications. Somebody says I'm looking good today. Oh, thanks. There's no makeup, no nothing. So because, you know, I don't want to distract the men. So let's go ahead and get live on all of these platforms. And then we're going to jump into this, into the topic. I'm going to give the top three right off the bat. So don't worry, you don't have to wait for those. All right. We are live on Twitch. We're live on Twitter. We are live on Facebook. We're live on LinkedIn. And of course, you know, we are live on YouTube. I am your host, Tanya TKO. I am a self-love specialist from tanyatko.com. I am a trained life coach. I'm a certified clinical hypnotherapist. And I had, it wasn't an epiphany, but I had a realization last night when I was, um, I, was con I, was, I was contacted by a man whom I respect very much. And he was having some issues with um, with different women behind the scenes. And I have a feeling that there are going to be a lot of men who are having issues with women 
Um, from what it is that I'm gathering, men find women very complicated to understand, very difficult to understand. And I think it's because men are looking at women from a male mind. And they're also getting a lot of their advice and information from other men who are giving them poor strategies for long-term relationships, happy relationships, as well as, you know, uh, how do I put this? Ben relationships that are beneficial to them overall, to their growth as human beings. And there are a lot of men who just really don't know where to turn for information. And I'm not really sure how many women are giving the information to men. So if this video is appropriate, men, and you don't appreciate it, by all means, let me know. I won't make any more videos like this. If you do appreciate the video and you learned something or you gathered or you appreciated it or whatever, send a cash app through, comment, share the video, like the video, watch the video, and that will let me know that you all are appreciating it. So the top three. Number three. Number three. Well, let me do a survey first. How many men do we have in the house? If we have men in the house, go ahead and put up the number one. Let me see if we even have men in the building. All right. Number three is men seem as if they can't tell the difference between women. And they think that because a particular woman that they're interested in is a certain way, that for some reason she seems to become the standard. And he then, number two, he begins to change himself for her or to become who it is that he thinks she wants him to be, or who it is that she is asking of him to be, which is a, a, a terrible, terrible mistake. And then number one is thinking that, that something is wrong with him if the relationship just isn't a good fit. So, so um, <laughs> listen... Reginald, don't make fun of men because the, the, the cockiest of men are the ones with the worst relationships. You think things are going well, but your woman is not climaxing. She's unhappy. And while you're sitting up there playing video games or watching the game, drinking with your feet, with your holy socks up, she comes in and hands you divorce papers. Out of the blue to you, but she's been talking to you for months, for years, and you haven't heard her. So calm down. Calm down, okay? Just simmer down. Don't make fun of men who are having issues in relationships. A lot of men are. And the ones who are cocky like you are the ones, let me talk to your woman behind the scenes and we'll see what the real deal is. All right? Calm down. Let me take my own advice and calm myself down. I, I didn't like that. It's like, why are you mocking other men? This is part of the problem. Men and their egos and the competition and the wanting to win and the wanting to make a particular relationship work is what is leaving a lot of men stuck and stranded. And there are a lot of men who, who are, they have all of the components in place. They got the house, they got the car, they got the wonderful job, they've worked on themselves, but there's no woman there. And they're sitting in a big house, walking with their footsteps, echoing through the halls. And there's no one there. And there's a reason why. And so I'm going to, do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do something for you all. Let's play a video real quick that I want you all to see, right? Because when I saw this video, I did an, an initial reaction to it. And then I wanted to come and follow back up. So I'm going to follow back up in today's video because I think it's important for us to pay attention to the premise, right? The premise. Uh, here we go. Um, I'm sorry for screaming like that. It's just that I don't understand why we're coming out the box making fun of people. It just doesn't make any sense. So listen, here, let's go. Wait, did you just say every woman here is a pick me? More or less. Not you. Probably. Oh, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. How mm. is how is understanding how the other species operates and how what they value, what they want, how is understanding them a pick me when we always because... say, well, wait, 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 wait. When we always say that they need to understand women, they need to understand women. It's like, how are you supposed to be in a relationship with someone? You, when you get in a relationship with friends, you try to understand your friends who, and you want them to understand you so you can grow that relationship. So you can be the best friend they have in that relationship. How are you going to be? All right, perfect. That is where I want to stop it. If you want to see that video, it's on my TikTok page, right? I wanted to stop it at that part, and I'll play that part over for you again so that you can think about the rationale. Here, let's rewind. Here. 
to understand you so you can grow that relationship here, 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 like, just, okay. when we always say that they need to understand women they need to understand women it's like how are you supposed to be in a relationship Listen to with this someone part. you when you get in a relationship with friends you try to understand your friends who and you want them to understand you so you can grow that relationship so you can be the best friend they have in that relationship how are you going to be one-sided and say oh all we right perfect perfect what is the matter with that logic what is what is the matter with that logic um, if I told you, if I came to you and I said, listen, let me tell you what friends like. If you do this, you'll have good relationship with friends. These are the things that friends like in relationship. What, what's, what's the matter with that logic? I, I'm going to open up the, I want to see your comments. What is wrong with that, with that logic? Please, I'm going to give you all some moments. So start typing quickly because I want the video to go by pretty quickly. So come. What is the matter with the logic if I say, you know what friends like in friendship? This is what friends like in friendship. This is the way to make your friends happy. This is the way to have good relationship with your friends. I want, this is what I want to hear from you all. Come on. There's a little bit of a delay, so I'm going to give you all. And then while we're waiting, let me get my, I'm going to get, um, I got my markers ready to go to the board and start typing. So let's see. What's the matter with that train of thought? What is the logic, the logical fallacy? Baby doll says, assuming that everyone is the same. Okay. The great goddess says, all friends aren't the same. Perfect, perfect. Come, come. It doesn't fit everyone. People are not the same. Yes, talk to me. Talk to me. It's condescending. Everyone is different. Come on, come with the comments. That's right. Not all friends want the same thing and are individuals. Yes, come, come with it. 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 Friends go both ways. What about what I want in a friendship? The friendship is an organic, rather manufactured, generalized statement. Everyone isn't the same. Talk to me. Talk to me. This is, this is, this is, this is what, you, you all got it. You all are very sharp. You all are very sharp. Thank you. Thank you. The problem with that statement is, and, and, and men can understand this because men have friendships. And in your friendships, if I told you this is what your friends want in your friendships, You'd be like, well, wait a minute. All of my friends are different. This friend likes this. This friend likes to play basketball. This friend likes to drink. This friend likes to talk shit. This one likes to fight. This one likes to go to the club. Every friend is different. Every friend needs something different in a friendship. What we have nowadays is we have a lot of men sitting up on podcasts telling you what women want. Number three on the list is men can't seem to tell the difference between one woman or another. I've heard many men say, and, and this is how men end up with the one that got away. Because you have a relationship with a woman that is working and you think that you can just switch out women. Or, oh, women are, are pretty much the same. You just got to go find a prettier model, a younger model, a, a, a younger version, a prettier version, a thicker version, a bigger booty version, a nicer face version, whatever the case may be. However, you don't take into account the individuality of each woman, much like your friends. In, our, in the societies that we live in, we kind of posit as if women are interchangeable, but every woman is unique. I remember before I moved to Asia, because I lived in Tokyo for, for, for some time. And people used to be like, oh, I can't tell Asians apart. Oh, oh Asians look alike. This is a big misnomer. When I lived in Asia, you can definitely tell Asian people. Everybody has a different face. Everybody has a different way that they walk and move, et cetera, et cetera. So I gather that men, by and large, really think that Women, they, they don't see the nuanced difference of women um, without really diving deep within themselves to see the differences, right? And listen, you men can try to correct me if, if you feel that I'm wrong because I told you I'm a life coach and I've spoken with many men and I've, I've, I've had relationships with men who felt that it would be easy to replace a woman like me. <laughs> they thought... They thought, oh, they thought, they thought, right? But I'm going to play another video for you all, and then we're going to get to the board, right? Give me just one second. I have to pull this ting ya up. Um, 
All right. Yeah. Women are not aroused by dad bods. Yes, because who better knows what women find attractive than someone who's not a woman? I swear, so many men are incredibly unhappy in their dating life because they're not trying to date women. They're trying to date other men. They are doing things that they find cool in other men and then getting upset that women don't find it attractive. So many men date by trying to appeal to the male gaze. Their pictures are all hunting and fishing and cars and jet skis and shit like that. Shit that other men often find way cooler than women. Okay, you know what? She goes into a whole spiel and when I do my reaction videos, I'm going to d dive deep into that whole, whole video right but i just wanted you to get the general sense for what it is that she's saying a lot of the men that you are listening to do not have healthy relationships with women it's like men are taking advice from other men listening to statistics and data let me show you something else because a lot of men for some reason just repeat the same things over and over and i don't understand why men are doing this nowadays it's very strange to me but i'm seeing men do this a lot and it's it's it's, it's peculiar and bizarre so here, so this is one of the comments that came up on my video. You can you can put this on your TV or or if you're able, if you're on a phone, you won't be able to see it. I'm, I'll read it for you. This guy, his name is Fat Boy. He says, if you are attracted, attractive and confident, you will meet plenty of attractive women in Brazil that will be attracted to you. Same all over the world. If you are not in that top 20% of men, don't bother unless you just want to see beautiful a beautiful country with wonderful culture, um, the blah, 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 blah. Then he goes on. A lot of men repeat the same statistics over and over and over again, right? And I don't know why they, I don't know why men do this because there's a certain type of woman who is looking for the top 20% of men. And there are a lot of men out there who are single who would be a great fit for a lot of the women out there who are single, but a lot of the men shoot themselves in the foot, right? So here, let me, um, let's start, let's start with the board, right? Okay, so number one, number one. Yeah, you see that South African booty? Okay, anyway, listen. <laughs> All right, so here is a woman, right? Here, I'll just make a little dress, right? Here is the here here's the here's oh let me get some uh, some curly hair. Here's a woman, right? And as a man, one of the things that I notice that men do when they get into relationship with women, all of their focus, all of their focus, all of their attention, um, in terms of analyzing this woman as the standard, all of it goes over here. But I want to I want you to answer this question. Who is she? I need you to really take the time to sit and analyze this woman. What does she do for fun? Naturally, what is she doing for fun? Where is she going? Because a lot of men are complaining about, you know, these quote unquote city girls. They're complaining about the girls that don't want relationships. When you first came into contact with this woman, how was she behaving? Where was she going? How, when was she, how was she going out? How was she, how does she regard her body? Does she have a bunch of plastic surgeries? I was talking, listen, I was talking with a, a man whom I respect very much, who I consider to be very intelligent. And one of the women that he was having an issue with was a woman with an Instagram page where she was doing all these poses and she was trying to be an influencer, but she didn't have many followers. And then she went and she got herself a boob job, some 360 lipo, butt implants, lip injections, or all of this stuff done to her face. She looks completely altered. And he is analyzing her as the woman that he once knew, he's not taking into account the fact that this woman is trying to be an influencer, that she's running out there in the streets 
running after the top 20% of men. She's up on Instagram posing with her bottom out. She has a child and then she got her child inside the videos posing with her bottom out too. Who is this woman? I find that for some reason, men see women and don't take into the account all of these other things. Who is she? What does she do for fun? What is her education level like? You know, a lot of men out there talking about, oh, we don't care about your education. Darling, maybe you should. <laughs> maybe, maybe. maybe. <laughs> of how much she has invested in herself about what her rationale might be like. What type of work? I, I'm, not, I'm not even talking about work does she do. What type of work has she done on herself? You know, I understand, right? I understand that ladies are very cute and very pretty. And, you know, we have all of these soft, plump, jiggly parts. And I understand that, you know, that, that we look so good to you, that we're so tender and you love that softness. But behind that softness, who is she as a person? That is what you have to pay attention to. How does she navigate? What are her relationships like? What are her relationships like with other people? What are her relationships like with her family? How does she, is she, how does she get, how does she get down? How does she get along? How does she get along with other people? How does she, does she let things go? Is she argumentative? Is she a hellcat? You have to look at her as an individual. And not only that, you have to realize that she is, who is she? She is one, one person. She is one person. What, what I find that men do is they try to contort themselves. They're like, oh, she likes, she likes um, men who wear colorful sneakers. So let me wear colorful sneakers. Oh, she likes men who got big muscles. Oh, let me go work out. Let me get big muscles. Right? Oh, she likes men who eat meat, are vegetarian, are this, are that. And then you start changing yourself, right? You start changing yourself for this person. But who is the person that you're changing yourself for? You're changing yourself for a woman. You're changing yourself for a woman with lip injections, breast implants, who's arguing fighting with people. She got a terrible relationship with her own mother and her own friends. She's backstabbing her friends. She's borrowing money from people and not repaying it. People are looking for her. Her car was repossessed. She got bad credit. Her life is falling apart. She don't take accountability and responsibility for the things that are going on in her life. You're changing yourself for a woman who may not even be a good person. It's like you have to be discerning. You can't get caught up in, in the parts that jiggle and wiggle. You can't get caught up in the softness. You have to look at her as a complete entity because at the end of the day, I mean, if you're just looking for vagina and you don't care, that's one thing. That's one thing. If you're just looking to dip in and out, that's one thing. But if you're looking for someone to integrate into your family. You know how many men are getting with women that, oh my God, who are, just can't even meld into their own family. <laughs> they, they can't, who is this? It's like, then you bring her around your mother and your mother's looking at you like you're crazy because she thought she raised you better than that, but you're so caught up with the googly eyes that you don't even... You're bringing a bad match. You're bringing a, a woman who is acting the fool in front of your mother and your sisters. And your sisters are like, damn, this man, crazy. Who, who the? And then now she's pregnant. And now you're bringing a bunch of nie nieces and nephews around who's being raised by a woman who didn't have her head on straight when you met her. But she had some big old bouncing titties. I mean.
but what them titties gonna be doing when when your your child is sitting there in a full pamper crying throat hoarse because no one is picking him up his he got crust all in his nose and she calling him all types of little n words or or black bastard like your father and now your child is over there being abused in the hands of a woman who you saw had terrible relationships with all the people around her. I mean, look, I, 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 am I, I must be off base. No, y'all you, not feeling me. Y'all not feeling me. I, I, I'm going I'm to close my mouth because y'all not feeling what I'm saying. I, I'm going to close my mouth. Let me just, I, I should just rip this paper down off the board, right? Because y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm just talking junk. Y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all don't even, y'all don't want to hear me. Y'all don't want to hear me. I, I'm, 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 y'all, yeah, no. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to stop talking because y'all ain't feeling me because of, are you feeling what I'm saying? This is what I'm saying. Are you smelling what the tongue is cooking? All right. That's too much. <laughs> Listen, if you're feeling what I'm saying, talk to me. Oh, okay. Okay. I see some people might be feeling what I'm saying. I mean, let me check. I'm going to check the apples. Before we break, oh, there's no apples. No, y'all not feeling what I'm saying. Y'all ain't feeling what I'm saying. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, I've been talking too much. I've been talking too much. I want to get into the number one. I want to get into the number one one, but nobody, I don't feel like you all are really feeling what I'm saying. I don't feel like you're really feeling me. Otherwise, you all would be sending apples and the apples would be like, yes, or saying something. But I don't know. Y'all not feeling what I'm saying. I, um, I don't know. I don't know. I also wanted to open up the phone lines, but if y'all not feeling what I'm saying, there's no need to open the phone lines. I don't know. 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 Maybe, maybe it's, we just log out. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe I made a mistake making the video. Maybe I made a mistake. I see Trevisa saying, yes, we do hear you, sister, but I don't hear nothing from the men. Not an apple from a man, nothing. Oh, maybe you all don't have the link. Maybe you all don't have the link. Let me let me put the link in the description. Let me in the in the comments. It's www.cash.app forward slash dollar sign T O N Y A T K O. Let me see. Let me see if you all are feeling what I'm saying. <laughs> Shante is saying, I'm broke today. It shouldn't have to be you. If the men are feeling what I'm saying, the men should be sending apples through, but they're not feeling it. So I, I'm not even going to get into the number one. I'm not getting into the number one more. I'm not getting into it. Forget it. Forget it. Forget it. I'm not getting into it. <laughs> Kevin says, I want to hear. I want to hear too. I want to hear the cha-ching of the cash apps. That's what I want to hear, Kevin. <laughs> That's what I want to hear. I want to see some men send some apples through. Look, Petrina. Okay, Petrina said something. So did Nicola. But I want to see an apple from a man. I need the men to support the show because if the men are not supporting the show, that means that the men are not hearing what I'm saying. I told you all to share this video in the very beginning. But there's not enough men on here. Maybe the men, maybe they don't need the message. Maybe I'm just talking to women still. <clears throat> You know what? Look, I put the apple in there. The apple, I'll also put the PayPal thing in there. www.paypal.me forward slash Tanya TKO. In case people just didn't have it. There it is. Shantae is saying, do the number one for us. No, I'm doing the number one for men because this video is for men. I want to see a man send an apple through because when they were watch when they watching these other guys and this, they send in, they send in all different types of support to men who are leading them astray. I'm trying to impart some wisdom and knowledge and it's dry over here. I got to start begging. Mm -mm. No, it should be abundant. They should look. Men know how to support when the time is right. Let's see, I'm refreshing. Um, Christine is another woman's name. Somebody by the name of Dix is... Listen, I want to see some apples from some men. Otherwise, they, I know that the men just aren't feeling it and I'm speaking in vain. That's it. I'll go ahead and I'll put on the commercial to give you all a few moments to be able to click out and come back in the commercial is one minute and 11 seconds. Let's go.
Are you tired of missing Tanya TKO's live videos? Arriving late when the video is well underway or about to end? Are you fatigued of only seeing a live video randomly while perusing YouTube and Facebook? Or worse, are you randomly unsubscribed? Well now, you can get a text notification whenever I go live. No longer are we dependent on the algorithm of these fake platforms for just $1.99 a month US and Canada or $4.99 a month international, you get a personalized text message 15 minutes before each live show. Now, you can show up early with the text squad, meet other people from all over the world, and get invited to secret broadcasts off platform. Most importantly, support your favorite independent creator. Go to TanyaTKO.com and click on text. Join the TKO Tech Squad today for just $1.99 a month US and Canada or $22 a year if you pay in advance. $4.99 a month international, $50 a year if you pay in advance. You'll never again be tardy to the party. I'll see you on the next broadcast. TanyaTKO.com for its We're back. I want to get into the number one. However, I need to see support from three men. I need three men to send cash apps through. Three. That's all I'm asking for. So, ladies, sit back. Ladies, sit back. This is the time for the men to come forward right now because I'm doing this video for men. I've given a minute and 11 seconds. So, I will go back and refresh. I will go back and refresh here. Okay, there's a second man, Theron. Kevin also came through. I'm looking for one more guy. I'm looking for one more guy. One more. Just one more. One more. That's all I'm looking for is what? just three men so that that would be the trifecta of support that I know at least three men hear what I'm saying. <clears throat> one more. That's all I'm asking. That's all I'm asking. We got Theron, we got Kevin, and I'm just looking for one more. Let me see. Ladies, stand down. Stand down, ladies. This is the men's time to come forward. I'm refreshing. All I need is one more. Okay, then let's look. I mean, what? What? Then what? So maybe, maybe, listen. I'm still refreshing. I'm not seeing it. I don't know what's going on. Just one more? That's it. That's all I'm... One? That's all I'm asking for is one more. Kevin, Theron, and LaVera just sent through. But ladies, stand down. This is the time for the men to, to really step up. And There are more than three men on here, right? I'm refreshing. 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 It shouldn't take this long. Peaches is like, where the men at? I put the comments back up down there. Come on, where, where are you all? Mm, mm, mm. Well, well, well. Refresh, refresh, refresh. Refresh, refresh. They got time to click out. I don't want, I don't, I'm holding the, the broadcast hostage now at this point. This is unbelievable. One more is all I'm saying. That's it. One more. One more. One more apple. Mm, mm, mm. One, that's it. All right. Royce is saying, I missed it. What we doing? We are trying to get into the... <laughs> Miss J says, I thought they were high value men. Lord, my mercy. Well, well, well. I'm still, re you see, I'm refreshing and it's like refresh, refresh, and that's it. It's... D Farm is saying it's a valuable lesson for you all. I don't know what's going on. That's it. Well, <clears throat> R 
Ronald says on board. Really? Let's get on the board. Let's get on the board. Let's get on this board so that we can go forward. I think people, I, 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 wow. I never thought that this would happen. I am, I am shocked and chagrin. Shocked and chagrin all this time. Baby doll says I'm asking too much. Am I? Uh, somebody else is saying the male trolls. Look, I'm refreshing. Lavera is the last person. Well, you know what? Listen, I am going to go and I'm going to, um, I'm going to get my makeup done, and we're going to be talking about the passport bros in the next video. The PP boys. We're going to um, be talking about them in the next video because there's some updates that I need you all to see. I'm going to go back to just making content for women, honestly, because. It doesn't seem as if men really want to hear what it is that I have to say. And my broadcast should not have to be held hostage for me to know that men are hearing me and that they are benefiting. Because if the men are not benefiting, then it doesn't make any sense. If men are not benefiting, look, refresh. Re Re Lavera is still the last person. Refresh, refresh, refresh. See, Lavera is the last person that has come through. Lucy is saying good day, Tanya. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> so listen what else is I, I'm, I'm gonna and somebody's saying they just want the toxic red pill stuff I think that people think that I am joking If it's, <laughs> it's Friday, that money is gone, says Ultimate. Listen, for the ladies who sent apples through, I'm going to come back through today with content on uh, my faces all. A Stefan is one of the knockouts. Don't ask him for help. A Stefan doesn't date women. A Stefan doesn't date women. Don't ask him to come through and, 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 and contribute in the same way that these men contribute to the people in the manosphere who are giving them information that's not helping them. I'm refreshing and look, still, no. All right, so that's it. I appreciate each and every one of you for coming out. I'm not joking. I'm gone. I'm going to go do my makeup and get ready to talk about the PP boys. <laughs> People are saying their money's getting garnished. Listen, the great goddess that says I'm disappointed. I think many of us are. Kim says point proven. I'm disappointed too. You know, I'll give it one more chance and check before I completely jump out of here. And if after I check this time, if it's not there, I'm leaving. <laughs> Let me refresh. Look. That's it. Um, I'm going to I'm going to read the apples that have come through and then I'm going to go out from here. Um, all right. So look, here we go. All right. All right. So, Petrina sends two dollars and says, "I'm feeling you, Tanya. Thank you, because you're you're a woman, Petrina. So I appreciate you." And I appreciate you wanting better for them, but they have to want better for themselves. They have to want better for themselves. Um, Nicola sends $5 and says, first apple, we're the men, they need to holla. Yeah, 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 yeah. Christine sends 222 and says, keep going, the men are writing it down. <clears throat> Chill Vibe sends $3 and says, Preach, Tanya, preach. Thank you. Thank you. LaTanya sends $5 and says, I'm feeling you, Tanya. 
Look, I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Veronica sends 555 and says, first time, men speak up. Men speak up. The ladies are crying out for the men to come forward. Kevin sends $25. Thank you, Kevin. I appreciate you showing that you were feeling what it is that I'm saying. Theron sends 20 and says, thanks for today's content. You're welcome. It's too bad we couldn't go all the way into number one. It's too bad. It's too bad. Lavera sends $25 and says, just because with the purple heart. Yes, sister. Yes. Yes. And then Aida sends $2 worth of Tesla stock. Okay, girl. All right. And she says, the men can't hear you. Their ears don't work. Why are you saying that? Their ears work. And I'm refreshing. Look, not one more has come through. So let me go ahead and put the hearts up. Yeah, you know what? I am, um, look, maybe I will, maybe I will come through another day in the future and and finish this video who knows but i am going to go um it, nay says it's dry because the men don't want to hear the truth look what is net spend kathy has come through and says kathy mounts sends video support thank you i appreciate that I appreciate that. Thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that. So you all know that it is still, it is working. They are still coming in, but just not from the men. So that's that. So look, um, why we, why we continue? Susu money, they want validation for being wrong. Listen, let me accept my Tesla stock and and continue thank you i appreciate that two dollars worth of tesla stock girl i like the way you think i like the way you think all right <clears throat> so that is that what else so ladies look, even the gentlemen who are here um we're going to jump out of this video i want oh i guess i was nervous mm. what is the self-love lesson that you all gathered from today's video so go out there and love one another, most importantly, love yourself. But what is the self-love lesson that you gathered from today's video? I want to hear. What is the self-love lesson? Because have you ever seen the men on these manospheric channels have to have to beg for 10 minutes for three, just three to support? Have you? Have you ever seen that? And they be sending in 500, 100, just going off. So let's see. And the thing is, I wasn't asking for any dollar amount. All I was asking was for three different men to support. That's it. I don't know what net spend is. Net spend, you get your check two days earlier to avoid garnishing. Wow. What is the self-love lesson? You cannot force men to care is the self-love lesson that she gathered. Black men left the community. They not invested. Broke dudes in the chat. Net spend is the hood rich version. They waiting for the Forex deposit. SLL, type SLL. I want to see what the self-love lesson is from today's video. Men don't want to learn, listen, or accept ownership for being wrong about women. Okay? You cannot force men to choose better. SLL, only date a man who is clearly and vocally interested in who you are, not just your looks. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go for another... Another minute of, of comments. Let's see. Women are not a monolith, okay? SLL work on you because the men disappeared when it comes to working on themselves. I think that this lesson, I think today's broadcast is a is a, a view of a much larger issue in society. Mm -hmm. SLL hold men to task and see who turns up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Are there a bunch of men watching the video? I asked early in the video where the men were and they, they, they're they here, they're here, they're here. About 30% of my channel are male, 70% are women. So they're here, they're here. SLL actions speak louder than words. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. SLL men have to choose to do better for themselves. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. SLL is a woman's world. SLL, it wasn't about the lesson, but on roasting. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Go where you're celebrated, not just merely tolerated. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really wanted to get into that number one one, but that's that. SLL, you can lead the water, but them to water, but you can't make them drink. Women support women above all else. Women show up. That is true, and I think that's part of what men love so very much about women, because women do show up. Net spend is a prepaid debit card. Mm -mm -mm. This also lets you know how many men are leaders. They wait for others to step up because they aren't comfortable. Um, it went by too fast. Healing yourself allows you to recognize. Okay, if a man can't value my mind, then he can't value my V. I wanted to hear more because it seems to me women change into what men want as opposed to men making changes. You know, um, Men make changes for the pursuit to 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 conquer, to accomplish the goal, to get the woman. They make these these seeming changes to be what it is that he thinks that she wants. Um, women do contort themselves to be in relationships. So after he has gotten her, then now she starts to subvert herself. SLL, as soon as they say black women this and that run like hell, continue to live my life happily with no outside approval. If it was their daddy, KS, they'd send apples. If it, if it was somebody who was giving them what it is that they wanted, then it would have been a different story. Apparently, they didn't want this, and that's okay. I just I learned that this is not what they want. SLL, stay true to your word. SLL, generalizing is the new thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So that's that. That's that. All right. So I'm going to tell you all what was the self-love lesson that I learned from today's video. Um, the self-love, so the self-love lesson that I learned from today's video is pretty much like somebody said, be true to your word. Don't play these games. You know, far too often. I remember, I remember when, when I was young, right? I remember when I was young, my mother used to make these threats, right? Like, oh, um, like, let's say we were going to go to the circus. My mother would be like, oh, if you don't, you know, clean your room or if you don't do this, we're not going to go or this, that and the other. And I was a child, so I didn't know better or whatnot. But I remember not, not that's a bad example. I'm going to give a different example. My mother would be like, oh, I'm, I'm going to leave you home if you don't want blah, 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 blah. And it didn't matter whether I did or didn't do it. When she left, she did not leave me home. And I learned that. Sometimes people make idle threats and, mm, you know, something, you know, because I mean, if your parents got tickets to the circus and some of you or who are parents, if you know that you're not going to do a certain thing, don't threaten your children because you only teach them that you only teach them that your word is not your bond. One of the self-love lessons that I learned from today's video is to be true to my word and make my word my bond. And don't say it if you don't mean it. So when I said I was going to leave the video without going to number one, as much as I wanted to do number one, as much as I like to teach, as much as I like to impart the information, I said I was going to leave. I said I was going to rip up the paper. And I did. And that was that. And I am gone. Oh, let me check for one last time. See? Oh. Look. So a man has come through and sent an apple, but he sent an apple insulting me. <laughs> I can't make this up. I can't make this up. Let's go to the apples, y'all. Let's go. Let's just get these apples up here. <laughs> <laughs> ah, let's see this. Come on. Come on. My screen has gone dark. What is going on? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, what is the what the rust? Hold on. Let me close this whole thing all together and bring it back. All right. Here we go. All right, so let me read these apples for you all. Let me read these apples, right? MNS Logistics says, asking for men to donate. I don't know if this is a man or not. You know, it's just says MNS Logistics. 
So I don't know if that's a man. Ultimate Enigma sends 333 and says, action means leadership. Bravo. Okay. And then Jermaine comes out and says, This is the reason Passport Bros exist. Let me own. <laughs> the ignorance is stupefying. So you want to stop from my lesson to tell me that this is the reason that Passport Bros exist? The only lesson that you're proving is that it's good that you go. It's good. Please leave. Leave. If you are not willing to hear out and do the bare minimum of self-reflection, go. I feel sorry for those women of other countries, but that this is not our problem. You can vacate, leave, leave, go, please, by all means. I want you to do you and be happy. So Jermaine Cannon is talking about this broadcast as the reason the Passport Bros exist. This is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. The PP boys, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. That, uh, this is embarrassing. This is embarrassing. This is, this is really embarrassing. MNS Logistics, I don't know if you are ma male or not. If you are, please speak up so that so that we know, because you would make the third male con contributor. Jermaine doesn't matter. He's a PP boy. <laughs> and we want him to please continue going forth in his life. This broadcast is already trashed, so that's the, the, I don't know what else to say. I really don't know what else to say. Men, we don't care. Yeah, that's what, that's what Mila is saying. Mm -hmm. Oh, look, he changed his name to BLB because he didn't want people to know his real name. <laughs> so well, I, by the, you see, by the time I refreshed it, he after he saw his thing up there, Jermaine, we know it's you. So you thought that you were going to be cute sending through your little passive aggressive apple. And then you decided, oh, no, my name is out there. Let me go ahead and let me let me change my name to BLB. We already seen you. We seen you. Let's see. Let's see your face. So you got up some some dummy, some dummy account, some dummy face. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah. Go off, brother. Go off. Go off. And then you do you think that we're missing out? Do you think we're missing out? And then Cooley says, I'm not embarrassed to have a real good looking woman for two weeks. Look, they're showing you. They don't care about relationships. They don't, for by and large, they don't care about relationships. They don't care about, they don't care about fostering good relationships with women. They, this, they're telling you with their actions. The actions speak louder than words. They say when people show you who they are, believe them. They're showing you they don't care about healthy relationships. There are books out there to help men with healthy relationships. They don't care. They rather just go have a good looking woman for two weeks and then leave her there and then come back. You know, so women, please use this information and act accordingly. Use this information and act accordingly. And BLB comes back to say, no, that's not what I mean. Oh, okay. So BLB is not a troll. And MNS says, yes, I am a man. I think he means a man. Okay. Well, we got our third male contributor. So I done ripped up the page now. We can go into number one now, but my spirit is, my spirit is deflated. But I did say that if we got three men in that I would, I would, I would continue forward. So let's go into number one. Look how long it took for us to get three men. We've been, we've been on here an hour. I wanted this to be a short video. I just, I feel so deflated. I'm, I feel.
All right. Let's just go ahead and do the number one, okay? All right. So, number one on the list. You know what? You know what? You know what's upsetting to me? What's upsetting to me is people think that I hate men. People think that I want women to be single. I want women and men to have healthy relationships. I want us to be able to come together and have healthy unions. Because it is in the union of man and woman that societies are built, that community is built. But if the men are are not going to show up, if the men are not going to be in this endeavor with us, because you know what? We have a lot of content creators who are saying a lot of different things and a lot of different ways for the solution that they come up with. Some content creators feel that, some content creators feel that the solution is to just do away with black men altogether by cutting them off at their existence, by controlling your womb to the point that you do not birth back black babies. Other content creators I have heard saying that we just need to abandon men altogether and just have communities of women where we just have women friendships and we just help raise each other's children and we just live in these women on women communities. But I think that men and women provide a good balance for one another. And I want men and women to come together. I want men and women to be able to have healthy relationships. But the men have to want to show up. Men have to want to, you know, men talk about courage. It requires a lot of courage to really, really, really look at yourself. To really, really, really do that internal work. It, requi it requires a lot of courage to be able to stand in the gap. It requires a lot of courage that against all other male disapproval, calling you all types of simps and all of that, that you do what you feel is right for the betterment of you as a human being, for your children, for your family, for your future, for the ancestors. That if you, if you look at male information to one another, any man who shows even the slightest bit of empathy for his woman, who shows even the slightest bit of care. It's like men are constantly talking about, oh, I want to be treated like a king. I want to be treated like a king. But the question on the flip side is, what are you willing to do to treat your woman like a queen? What is queen treatment for your woman? What does that look like? And for far too many men, they think just paying half of the bills and just showing up and existing is enough. They don't really have any plan on how to keep the woman. They have no plan on how to cater to her, on how to have a healthy relationship with her. They have no plan. So it's like, and there are, listen, there are men out there who really truly do want relationships. They really truly do. But they're not willing to do the work on themselves to have healthy relationships with women. Men think that we are unreasonable and, and hard to understand and, and all of this other stuff, right? When really the fact of the matter is that women have a different mating strategy. The mating strategy for women, right? The mating strategy for women is to find the best man for her one egg at a time. Listen, one egg secreted each month, 
She's looking for that best man for her. But when we talked about it on the list, who was that woman? It was on, it was on the first page. Who was she as an individual? What she is looking for, let me tell you, a woman will test you because a woman is testing you to figure out who it is that you are as a man. She is testing you to see if you are the right, the, the number one man for her one egg. Male dating strategy is a lot different. Men, the dating, the, 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 the successful mating strategy for men is to spread your seed far and wide to as many fertile bodies as possible. See what sticks. That's not how women do it. Men are looking for the best for who she is, but you have to con you have to consider who is she as a human being? Who is she as a woman? Who is she as, as a person? How does she show up in this life? Because the best for her might be a man that is as toxic as she is. The best option for her may be a man who, 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 what is the word? What is the word for when a person has a version of reality and this person mirrors back that version of reality to them? The, every woman is not right in the head. Every woman is not right in the heart or in the spirit. I understand that women look pretty and they're cute, but inside of those cute bodies and inside of that softness is a human being who was raised by people who came into this world to, to, to traverse in the direction that she, as a spirit, as a being, as a soul, came onto this earth to traverse. And everybody is at a different level of, they're at a different level of e evolving as a human being, as a soul. And so the best for her might be a, 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 an ignorant man, a dumb man who has a bunch of big muscles. The best that she can think of for her may be a man who has a hundred pairs of sneakers. Maybe a man who has a gold watch because that's what she values. Maybe she doesn't value an educated man. Maybe she doesn't value a man who is a good person. Far too many men come into contact with a few, a small number of women, and they think that <clears throat> they think that women are like this woman. You ever heard of casting, casting diamonds before swine, pearls before pigs, whichever is the saying that you heard. There are men who have a certain set of characteristics on the inside, right? So you as a man, you have, you have a job with a 401k, you have a, a sturdy vehicle, you have a sturdy vehicle, you have no children, right? You have, you're making good money, decent money, above the average, not the lowest, not the highest, but you're above the average. You have decent money. You've done work on yourself on the inside, right? And you are presenting yourself before a woman who values breast implants. She values hot, hot girl summers. She values beefing with her friends. She values, what, what else does she, give me some, give me some, give me something else. She values, um, going to Miami with her rent money. She values, uh, she values not having money in her bank account. She doesn't value books. She doesn't value these things, and she's cute, yes. But you are casting pearls before pigs. You're casting diamonds before swine. She is not a good fit for you. And the number one thing on my list is that men start thinking that something is wrong with you because you weren't a good fit for this. She's one woman out of millions. And the thing is that do not change yourself for her. She's not the only woman in the world. You have got to present because there is a woman out here. Okay, jewelry, stripper culture, thank you. Thank you. There is a woman out here 
who BBLs, yes, she will see your 401k and your insurance, your sturdy car, the fact that you don't have kids or you have very few kids, the fact that you that you've done work on yourself, the fact that you have money, she will see those things the right woman. Listen, far too many men are trying to make the wrong woman the right woman. I don't know why men do this, but this is the number one mistake that I see men making because you don't understand every woman is different. That one is not the right one for you. This one is not going to get along at the family barbecues with your mother and your sisters. This is going to be a, an effing problem. She's going to come there with her long nails and her hairspray all inside this big weave and, and her BBL and them big sausage looking lips. And, and your mother is going to be like, son, have you done lost your effing mind? Your mother's going to be like, um, you, you, you get this girl out of here. This is going to cause problems in your family. You, you, she, you, and you're going to stay, look, you stay with her. Your mother's going to be on the phone with a person like me. Because she can't see her grandkids, because she got to go through this ignorant bird to be able to, 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 to have some, some Christmas time that she got the stockings up on the damn fireplace at her house. And this woman ain't bringing the kids by. She's driving past to go to the mall, putting up pictures at the mall, but then past mama's house, ain't even come to pick up the kids' stockings. She's over here. The mama tried to call to talk to the grandkids, and she, the, your woman, done put the phone down and ain't put the grandkids on the phone. Your mother stressed out because of the woman that you put, you brought into your life because she was not the right one. It's like you have to be able to look past the stuff on the outside, and you gotta look at her on the inside and what type of life it is that she's living, and whether or not you want to be a part of this life. Do you want to be a part of the life of, of having a bunch of shoes and not saving money and, and, and traveling to Miami on rent money and BBLs and sausage lips and, and all of this other stuff? Do you want, is that what you want? It's like you have to figure out. Listen, listen, there is nothing wrong with you. Do the work on yourself. Yeah, do the work on yourself. But for every stage that you are at, there is a woman out there who is at that stage too. Become the best man that you can be on the inside and find the woman who is a right fit for you. That's what you have to do. Because far too many of you are placing priority on women who just, they're not the one. The one who was the one, maybe she was a little bit chubbier. Look, get up every morning with her, work out with her. Don't criticize her weight at all. Just work out with her. Make working out fun. Maybe have some sex exercise in there. You know, make her have to squat, pony buddy. Look, you know, look, enough of them squats. You know, get anybody in shape. You know what I'm saying? It's like... It, maybe her face wasn't the, listen, beauty fades over time. Every woman gets older. You have to find that right balance of beauty, brains, brawn, the type of woman that you would want to raise your kids to ingratiate into your family and all of that. You have to, you have to, you have to, you know how they say, how you, you nobody wants to quote unquote settle. But when you settle down, you have to make an educated decision about, you have to weigh the pros and the cons and weigh what really matters. Does she look good enough that you can, that you're aroused by her, that you won't feel ashamed walking outside with her? And I'm, I'm saying, you know, we, we talk to women constantly about shifting your expectation, but men, I'm telling you, you have got to, you've got to, Find that woman who is a good balance of beauty, brains, and she's not going to be perfect. I, I read this study once that talked about, well, in this study, the, these were men who were married and had girlfriends, right? I'm going to check the apples again. These were men who were married and had girlfriends. They asked them to rate how much they, how much they, how attractive their girl was to them. 
And then they showed them a bunch of airbrushed um, magazine covers, et cetera, et cetera. And then they asked the guys again. And all of the men rated their women's looks lower after looking at all of these airbrush Photoshop magazine covers. And so what you're up against nowadays as a man is a lot of these beautiful seeming women everywhere, all over Instagram. And you look at them and you're like, wow, what it'll be like to be with a woman like her, right? But when all is said and done, you don't know who she is inside. She looks good on the outside. And there's this, um, this law of, I forget the name of the law, but it goes, people who look good, we assign all of these other good characteristics onto them. That we think that they're a good person. We think they're going to be a good match simply because they look good on the outside. And what's ending up happening is because there are so many because you are being presented with so many beautiful options out there that you think that any one of those options are going to be a good match for you, you have to think about your life, right? You have to think about your life, right? You have to think about your life. What is your religion or your spiritual practice, right? What is your exercise practice? What is your eating habits? Your saving versus spending? What are your values? Are you an introvert, an extrovert? What do, what do your days look like? Your noise level inside the house, the level of cleanliness in your house. Um, how do you like to take vacations? Me personally, you see, I am naturally a backpacker. I'm not going to, a person who wants to sit up in a resort is going to be very frustrated by me wanting to go to a place where you're sleeping inside of a, a hammock. You're going to be frustrated by me because I'm a backpacker. That's how I like to roll. You have to think about your life and who it is that you are as a man and how it is that you show up naturally. And you have to think about all of those things. How, do you, how many books do you, are you reading books? What is your value you're on education? Because at the end of the day, the woman that you're with, if, you're, if you haven't had children or you want more children, this is potentially going to be the mother of your children. And you have to think about how it is that you are living your life, what's comfortable for you, what are the goals and values? And you all know that I'm working on the card game, right? You all know I'm working on the card game. I'm still doing interviews right now. So I'm, I'm working on getting it done as quickly as possible. But this card game, it's designed for women to really weed, weed out who is, who is the one for them, right? But as a man, maybe one day I might make a men's version, but judging from today's video, I don't really even know if men really even care. So I don't know. But you have to think about yourself and your life and what is going to make a peaceful life for you. There's some women out there who they're argumentative, they're petty, they 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 got mental health issues. They got they holding on to old ass shit from old ass arguments, they don't wanna, and you know what, for some of you men, you, you, you're turned on by the, the, that wild card. You have to work on yourself if there are things, if there are toxic traits that, that turn you on so that you're now bringing a toxic person into your family because that's what's making your dick hard. You gotta, you gotta think about yourself as a man, as a, as a being and where it is that you wanna go because you have to think about all of these things inside of your life and find the person who is going to be a fit, us 80-20. If no one is going to be 100%, but just know that girl that you're looking at on, on, on Instagram that is making you look at that. And remember, you're looking at people worldwide. You're looking at all of these quote-unquote options. You don't know if she's going to like you. I had a guy who, who had a great woman. He had a great woman who fit into his lifestyle perfectly, right? They had a really good life together. But you know what? This guy, he went back to school, right? And he broke up with his girl because he said, listen, 
I can't imagine myself being on this college campus and not getting with these college girls, right? I, I, he was like, I can't see myself being around all of these beautiful young women and not getting with them. I know you like monogamy, so I'm going to let you go, right? He broke up with his girl. You know what happened? He went onto the college campus and he was a little bit older, right? He was older than these girls. These girls were young enough to be his daughter. And he was like, he looked at them and they looked like babies to him. The stuff they were talking about was stuff that just wasn't, it, it just, it, it didn't satisfy his soul. You know that song, satisfy my soul. Oh, please don't you rock my boat. Cause I don't want my boat to be rocked. You know that song, Satisfy My Soul? They didn't satisfy his soul. They didn't feed him and, and, and nurture him as a man. These girls, they came from all different back. They were cute, yes. But his girl cooked the type of food that he liked, did the type of things that he liked behind closed doors. They had the type, they read books together. They had the type of conversations that he liked. But he said he was going to go onto this college campus and get all of these young girls. Then he then he came into contact with these young girls and they seemed like babies to him. Not only that, he seemed like an old man to them. And then what happened? Look, it's like you have to, for all of the things, it's like, so we're seeing all of these beautiful, beautiful, beautiful girls on Instagram you don't know if they're going to like you. You don't know if they're going to fit into your family. You don't know if they're going to be a good match for your lifestyle. You don't know if they're going to be a good match for your values and goals as a human being and a man. It is very difficult to find a good match. You all remember when I did that show, where I did the show where the man said the average black man could get married um, in, in under a year. You, I did that. You can, if you're not on my other page, go to my other page. Let me, let me put the link. Cause I put the shorts up on the other page and it, it's a new page. So I'm putting up the old shorts. Then we're going to get the new ones up there, but it's youtube.com forward slash at Tanya TKO clips. So I did the, so I did that. I did that show. I did that, that show where the guy was like, Oh, he felt that he could find a wife in, in under 12 months. What is the quality of that wife going to be? It's like it's not easy to find a good match. And if you are a good man out there, you've done the work on yourself and you're ready to settle down, I suggest that you work with a matchmaker. I suggest that you swallow your ego and your pride because matchmakers are always looking for quality men. You can find yourself a woman that's a good match for you. Put your ego aside, I implore you, because far too many men are like, why should I pay a matchmaker when I could just walk out there in the street and find a woman? Just any woman is not going to be a good fit for all of the things that you got going on in your life. As a man, you have to know yourself. Knowing yourself is what is going to help you get to know women, the woman that you're pursuing. Knowing yourself is going to help you be able to know who is a good match for you. Because a woman is not like a Barbie doll where you could just, I remember when we were young, we would just pop, like if one of your Barbies had a hairstyle or a dress that you wanted to go with a particular Barbie, you just pop her head off and put it on the other doll. That women are not like that, that you just can't pop the head off of one and put it on the other and be like, oh, well, I could just, I could just get this whole complete package easily. If, I, if only she had her face with her body and her cooking skills and her sex skills just pop and then you just, you, you, you think that you have just an interchangeable beings. But every woman is different. You have got to find 80-20. If, if, if it is a good match, 80% and 20% things that you can work with, no deal breakers in the 20%, but if you can work with that 20%, go for it. I implore you. Put your, put your, if you, if you need to be referred to a matchmaker, because I am a certified matchmaker, if you need to be referred to one, let me know because I have a matchmaker who is looking for black men right now. You could just write to me on my website, tanyatko.com. Ladies don't write because it's the men, like matchmakers need men. And so many men have so much pride and ego about investing in a matchmaker 
to find a woman who is a good fit for him. But I say just to go ahead and do it because it's not that easy to find a good fit. Yes, the girls, the girls. You remember KRS once said the girls look so good, but their minds are not ready. Oh, no. And it's like, yeah, these girls can look good, but their minds may not be ready. They may not be a good fit. They may not be a good lifestyle fit. And that's my video right there. That's my video right there. I'm going to check the apples. And I am going to let's let's go let's let's go grab let's get let's let's look 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 come 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 let's get it let's get it let's get these apples. Mm, 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 mm. Okay, here we go. Let's see. All right, so we were here, and he's. This is BLB who has come back and he says men and women are not having the conversation or not having having the conversations. Okay. Sierra sends 1111 and says, love you, Tanya. Nakupenda. I don't know what Nakupenda means. I don't know what Nakupenda means. I saw somebody speaking Japanese in the comments earlier, but I didn't get a chance to respond back to them. Um, B.O.B. comes back and says, the point was we are not talking to each other. Okay. And he says, we are both simply checking out was my point. Oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. I was going to open up the phone lines, but we've been on so long. Jibrail sends a bunch of hearts and says, from Mila Litti. Mila Litti. Is that somebody in the comments? Well, okay. Thank you, Mila Litti. Thank you. Thank you. Melissa sends $5 and says, I'm working on men's version and it's not worth it. That's sad. Did she send another comment? I don't know what men's version she was working on, but I see. I see. Oh, 15 steps to finding love, a woman's journey. Oh, and then she's working on the men's version. But, you know, this is part of the reason that most coaches and gurus just talk to women because men just are not investing in themselves. They're just not investing in themselves. So, listen, I appreciate you all going through the journey with me on today's broadcast. You know, it, it had some ups and downs and some highs and some lows. I want you all to tell me what's the self-love lesson or any lesson that you learned from today's video. So let's 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 hear You know, I didn't mean to get emotional earlier. It's just so, the situation is so sad and dire out here. Y'all, you not seeing me live? <laughs> All right, bye. Yeah. Um, the comments are not moving. Oh, there they go. Every time you check your apples, all I can think of is the church service when they stop the service to send that collection plate around like 17 damn times. Girl, listen. You know, these, I, I gotta tell you, the apples support the show. They support the show. They do. SLL, match with somebody who is realistically suited for you in real life. Social media is a fantasy, yes. The million dollar matchmaker even had issues with these men. She did. She got married and then divorced. Oh, Nakupenda Naku Naku is Swahili, which means I love you. Oh, Nakupenda. Thank you. Men must change too. They want to believe women are the problems. So emotional. Let's logical up in here. And this is somebody calling himself Menelik. Menelik was a great king. Well, maybe you speak in his native language because I don't know what you're doing to English. Harems of females originated from a paganistic dark place. Oh, my Lord. We don't know what we're talking about. Reese says Tanya deserves her money, period. This is a high quality show. Thank you. I appreciate that. SOL. Remember, they have broken the hearts of not just women on earth but also the divine feminine. They will reap 
they will they will reap what they have sown. My my, listen, my my my. I'm in full support. Didn't don't get me wrong. You be doing your thing. Much love. Thank you. Who teaching the men? Everyone seems to be focused on women, and you see why. But it's like men really have to create that shift on the inside. It is, you know, Pastor Cal from Married at First Sight said, "Marriage is not for punks." And marriage is an endeavor. A long-term committed monogamous relationship is an endeavor that requires the courage and the strength to be able to go through it. I found out I found out intriguing. Unfortunately, I had to step away. I will have to replay. Okay, Kevin. Okay. Yeah. It's okay to feel your feelings. I was touched by your emotion, even though some don't deserve tears. You know, I don't know. I just, I was overwhelmed in that moment. I really was. I really was. Aaron says, you deserve it. I'm sure this YouTube game is draining and all the energies you're inviting into your space, you definitely deserve your dues. Yeah, you know, I didn't see anything come in from a person named Aaron. So go ahead and put your money where your mouth is, son. Put your money where your mouth is. Today's broadcast went longer than I wanted to. I was going to open up the phone lines, but we spent so much time trying to get the apples that we have run out. We ran out of time. So SLL, don't change yourself to get someone to love you. Stay true to who you are and go where you're celebrated and accepted. Now, listen, are there going to need to be shifts that you're going to need to make? But they're going to need to be shifts. Like I said, who is that person? Are you shifting for the better? I made a lot of shifts this year. I started a daily yoga practice. I started working out and I've, I've made another shift. I've completely changed the way I eat behind the scenes. I've cut out flour um, and sugar and oils for the most part. And so they're going to need to be shifts. But are these shifts that you're making like is this person? First of all, you have to be in an environment where you are appreciated and celebrated first and foremost. Any shift that you make is going to need to be a, a an additional shift that feels right to your spirit that feeds you and your soul as a being and as a human being. Um, Ms. says men have to want to change. Their egos are bigger than their hearts sometimes. So sometimes it's like giving advice to a brick wall. You know what? There are so many men out there who are single. Listen, as a life coach, I've spoken to so many men who really just want a good woman. They really want a good woman and they don't know how to make that connection. You know, there are some men out there who just, who they, they got a lot of different problems, but there are, there are some really good men out there who are, who are in need of relationships. I have a friend who is an incel. I have a friend who's an incel. He's an involuntary celibate. And unfortunately he just is not able to make the connection. He's socially awkward and there, there are some changes that he needs to make and stay on top of, you know, but there, there are good men out there who are looking for women. And I wish that there was a way that I can connect. You know, this is why I, I became, that's why I got certified as a matchmaker, right? SLL, marry someone you can talk to. Yes. How can I get my book to you? I think you'd enjoy the quick read. Oh, you know, you can always um, write to me on my website. People who are familiar with my channel know I have a website. All right. Um, Love and respect says ultimate. Okay. When you put God first, everything else falls into place. Without God, there is no love or respect. The two most basic principles of marriage. You know, unfortunately, in many, in some of these, in far too many of these religions out here, who some people are calling a God, really seems like a demon, you know? And so when you start talking about putting this entity first, there's a lot of things that can, that, that, that won't line up. I'm going to keep my mouth shut on that because everybody has their own different beliefs, but just, just participating in a religion or all that's that, that's not enough. That's not enough. I mean, I saw John Gray made some damn video earlier and I was like, if you don't sit your big ass down somewhere, but you know, let me mind my business on that. Ladies, enjoy your own company and love yourself without the want of an incompatible man. I, I, I hope that our goal is to really have 
good, healthy relationships. I, I hope that that's our goal. So nonetheless, any any other comments that you have, you can leave them on the video. Look at, look at all of this mess all ripped up over here. You can leave them in the comments of the video. I will see you all. Um, I will see you all in the next video. Go out there and love one another. Most importantly, love yourself. And part of loving yourself, the self-love lesson that I learned from today's video is Honestly, you know what I learned? I'm going to tell you all what I learned from today's video. And then I'll tell you what the self-love lesson is that I learned. Um, one of the things that I learned is that the vast majority of people are going to be a bad fit. Like the vast majority of people, there's 600 people watching the broadcast on YouTube. There's 50 people on Facebook. And there's one person on Twitch. Hey, Twitchy! And one of the things that I learned is that the vast, ma the vast majority of people on a broadcast, the vast majority of men on a broadcast are just not going to be a good fit. But the minority of people out there, like if you think about what this broadcast really taught, the broadcast taught that there were a lot of men on the broadcast making comments. But when it came time to support the broadcast, the number, it was like a funnel. You know how a funnel starts out big and then it gets small and down towards the bottom? So there's a lot of people that will come into contact with you. But as you start having a requirement, the ones who are right for the requirement get smaller and smaller. Because there were men who were appreciating the, the broadcast. There are men who will learn from the broadcast, but there's a small portion of men who were willing to contribute and support the broadcast. There were a small number. Today, in today's broadcast, I brought in $209. That's how much I brought in on the broadcast. I'll put the, the, the thing up on the screen so you all can see. If you see down there, I brought in $209 from today's broadcast. Most of the people who contributed were, were women. There were some men who contributed it was a small minority and I want us to, to just pay attention because it's going to be like that in real life. The vast majority of people just not going to be a good fit, but navigate towards the small number who are navigate towards the small percentage who are going to support you, who are going to value what it is that you have to bring value what it is that you have to add and be in alignment at least for this portion because the funnel still goes smaller from there until you get to that one person you know what i mean so you have to narrow out all of these people and men you have to narrow out all of these cute women all of these buxom women all of these women who may be a good fit but physically you just don't like you have to narrow out all of those women and find the one who is it who's a, a good fit overall not the the best looking the not even the person who may be the the most compatible behind the scenes but you just don't like her look you have to find a person you're attracted to who is on your same vibe who fits into your lifestyle who will have the type of family that you want and all of that you've got to narrow it down I appreciate all of you for coming out into this broadcast. Go out there and love one another. And most importantly, love yourself. Realize that there is nothing wrong with you. Like, there's nothing wrong. Look, my videos do not get hundreds of thousands of views. I used to think that there was something wrong with my message until I started uploading the same videos to Facebook and the videos on Facebook will get hundreds of thousands of views. And then I was like, oh. So the fact that my videos are not getting seen is not a is not indicative of their worth. It's indicative of the algorithm that may or may not be sharing the videos. My videos are powerful. They change lives. I've created a, I've created a, a a small movement. I hear people repeating my talking points. I saw somebody on a completely non-related vlog talking about the year that women were able to get bank accounts. That came from the video that I did that 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 went semi-viral on TikTok with the granny 
who had a big, her biggest regret was getting married. And I asked in there, when were women able in this country, United States, to get bank accounts? And so the conversation has started and they've gone. But, hey, somebody likes my Goldilocks. I'm actually going to be, um, I do, you know what? This is a dry erase board right here. I'm going to be fixing up my hair again. But I, the dry erase board, the light shines on it. So I have to use the paper instead. You know, hey, my Twitchy is writing. I will see you all in the next video. I love you all. Let's get a hug because today was a hard time. Yes, 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 yes. All right. Peace.